Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you my experiment using different AI models to parse raw HTML data into nice structured JSON. Which one is the best? Let's find out. The three AI models we are going to use are Gemini, Cloud, and OpenAI. I wanted to try Grok, unfortunately I got hit by their token limitation. This is the website that we are going to scrape. The mission is to get the book's data in a nice JSON structure. To save us some time, we will skip the fetching part, so we are not going to access the actual website. Instead, I'm going to save the HTML code in a local file. Then we create a helper function to help us retrieve the content on this file. By the way, the source code will be available on GitHub. Now let's take a look at each of the implementations. First, Gemini API. For Gemini API, we are going to use a simple prompt. I've prepared the prompt here in a helper function. The prompt looks like this. So we tell the AI exactly what to do with the HTML information. And the important part here is I mentioned there is no expl explanation needed and don't response anything except the JSON object like this. Note that I'm also adding the specific data type if it's not a simple string. It turns out that Gemini returned the response with a triple backtick and JSON. It indicates this is a JSON file, but it's still a string programmatically. So I need to convert or remove this additional string to get my actual object. To do this, I've prepared this function. So if the items include the string information for the JSON, I'm going to clean the JSON and parse it into an items here. We will run the method for five times to check for consistency. Let's run it. Oops, I forgot to explain how we are going to score the results. After running the method, we will score the results. Here is the score result function. We are testing three things. First, the length of the item, the first item, and the last item. All the keys, names, and values must be the same to be considered true. Now let's run the test. The average time taken for it to finish is around 15 or 16 seconds here. And as you can see, we got 6 out of 15 mistakes here. Not bad. Next is OpenAI. Recently, they announced a new feature called Structured Outputs, which just like its name suggests, it allows us to retrieve structured data as the output. So here is the JSON schema that I've prepared to parse the book's data, so it's similar to the prompt that I use for Gemini. It uses a separate structure instead of putting everything in a prompt using the beta.chat completion parse method, using the specific model that allows the structure outputs feature, and using a simple prompt and include the books data from the get data function. Don't forget to let the function know about the expected response format, which is the books format we've declared here. So make sure the key names and also the data types match with the previous prompt we saw earlier. Let's run the test for OpenAI. The time it took to finish is around 15 to 22 seconds here. But as we can see, we get more accurate results compared to Gemini API. Last but not least, the Cloud API by Anthropic. Using the same method as Gemini, we are going to rely on a single prompt. Just for your reminder, this is what the prompt looks like. So it's the exact prompt that we used for the Gemini API. We use this model version and include the raw HTML and the prompt in a single message array. Parse the content and return the response. Now let's run the test for Cloud. The result is... The result is... And it's done. Okay, the time taken for cloud is longer than the previous models. But look at that, we got a perfect score using cloud. So based on our little experiment, here is the result. The most accurate is cloud, the fastest is Gemini API, and the well-balanced for accurate and speed is OpenAI. That's it, feel free to take a look at the code on GitHub. Just let me know if you want to see a different AI model, or if you want to see the implementation in more complex raw HTML. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.